Hello and welcome to another Yellow Case tutorial. This is Matthias and I'm going to show you how to sign a PDF. At least one way to sign a PDF. Now for those of you who've ever had to um, sign a document and then send it back, let's say to your insurance company or something like that, you know how much of a pain it is to receive the PDF, print it out, sign it, scan it back in or fax it back to the company. And this is going to be a very quick way of doing that, and it's actually pretty fun. Um, what I have in my hands, which you can't see, is a sheet of white paper that I've folded over four times in order to make it a little bit more uh, dense, a little bit less translucent. And what I did is I signed it with a marker, and it was kind of a medium-sized marker, nothing terribly thick. But I do like to use something that's not as thin as a regular pen. You don't have to worry what color it is. Uh, in fact, in my case, I used a red marker. Now, on my desktop, I have a PDF that if I double click on it, it will open my default um, PDF viewer, in this case, preview, which is what we want. Now, if in your case that didn't happen, make sure that when you select the PDF, right click on it and select open with from the drop down menu and then preview from the list. Now, preview might not show up at the top of your list because uh, if you have a different default PDF viewer, such as Adobe Acrobat, that one would show up on the top. So just select preview from the list, wherever it's at. So this is a contract that we here at Yellowcase use for corporate clients for consulting agreements. And at the very end of it, there's an area for signatures. Now this would be a good way for a Yellowcase client, if sent this contract, to sign it and send it back. At the top of the toolbar, or at the top of this software, there's a toolbar, and one of the buttons here says Show the Annotations Toolbar. If I click on that, it'll reveal this area with a bunch of new options, including the Signature option. Now, if you don't see this button in order to reveal that, make sure you go to View, Customize Toolbar, and add that Annotate button by clicking and holding and dragging it to the area where you want it. While you're at it, you might want to add a few other ones, like the Print button or the Zoom buttons. Anyways, when you're done, click on Done. Now, all you need to do at this point is if you have your signature ready, and I do, is click on this button and select Create Signature from EyeSight. You'll also notice that there's another option, Manage Signatures. You can actually have multiple signatures that you can use uh, very easily here, and we'll get to that in a bit. So all I need to do is hold up my little piece of paper in front of my camera. Now again, these EyeSight cameras for Macs are pretty much built into all the new Macs with the exception of the Mac Mini. Um, some of the older Macs, people bought the, uh, the original EyeSight camera, like I have, and uh, you can use that, of course. So I'm going to select Create Signatures from EyeSight. Now, again, I'm holding up the signature, or the piece of paper, and I'm going to, you'll notice there's a little blue line there. And I'm just going to hold the signature right at that blue line, as if I were signing on that line. And there's a little signature preview next to it. And you'll notice that the signature preview is black and white, despite the fact that my signature is red. When you're done with that, just select, or when you're ready, click on Accept, and your cursor automatically turns into a crosshair. You see it there. Now, wherever you're going to want to sign, just click and drag until the size is correct. And when you let go, your signature is placed. To get rid of the crosshair, just click off of the signature. And I clicked again by accident, placing another signature. I just hit delete to get rid of it. So there you go. That's real easy. That's how to add a signature to your PDF document. I'm going to go up here and click on the signature button one more time. You'll notice that the signature has a little preview. So if I had multiple signatures, I can select it. Let's do one more. I'm going to select Create Signature from EyeSight. And let me find another signature here that I made. A little pretend signature. Looks like a some sort of Egyptian sign. I'm going to select Create Signature from my site. And there it is again. I clicked on Accept. 
and when I go to sign I can just click and drag so pretty easy uh, works real well and if I click off of the signature I'm done so there you go I'm gonna click on the signatures button one more time and you'll notice that if I ever want to use one or the other I can just click on it and once again click and drag to place it if I were to save this and email it out it will include those two signatures and to mail it out simply go to file mail selected PDF document and that'll automatically create a blank email with this PDF with signature and all as an attachment ready to go so there you go that's how to sign a PDF and email it out real easily I well, hope this helps